Hello everyone, Thranx is here and welcome back to Conan Exiles Episode 8. When we left off, we had found some stone beasts, got some brimstone, some crystals, a rock nose head. I guess that's their name there, rock nose. So, pretty cool stuff. But, all in all, I think the realization that I've come to is I'm probably not supposed to go over this way. The reason I'm thinking that is because, uh, while at first the rock nose seemed really easy to kill, uh, it was, I, th I believe it was only because they were in a fight with one of the large turtle beasts and severely wounded. When I tried to take on one by myself, I almost, uh, almost got wrecked. No, well, I did get wrecked. I almost got totally destroyed. And then I ran through a town, and yeah, that's that's not a thing that's going to happen either anytime soon. I think at this point. It's safe to say that while I have discovered a single a, a single good NPC that did not attack me on site, I think it's pretty safe to assume at this juncture that any of the large cities that I could run into are hostile and I won't be uh, I won't be trying to mess with them anytime soon. So, back to the drawing board basically. I'm thinking I'm going to go back to my hut, drop off a lot of this stuff that's starting to make me heavy, maybe pick up some more food on the fire, back to our little beach, and then I think we're gonna... So this area here is a little bit ahead of us. I think we're gonna check out this area. Now I'm sure this town here is not to be messed with. Let's go back to our camp. Oh, you know, here we go, hyena. And we're gonna, we're gonna start putting more and more points into our strength. I'm not gonna worry about my vitality as much. But I think we're going to stay on the north side of the river as we work our way back. Uh, we will avoid any rock noses. But as you can see, even over here on this shore, separated by the this inlet, this river, this area was a bit more treacherous, possibly, than this area. So we're going to stay here. I'm going to try to work on killing these gazelles and hyenas, things that I know I can take fairly easily uh, as I, I don't want to keep dying. That's that's not on the agenda. Oh, I love these gazelles. That's right. And down you go. And now for you. No, don't run. It's just an arrow. You're not supposed to run. There we go. Hang out on that tree a little bit. Nothing could possibly go wrong there. Excellent. Alright, let's gather let's gather some hide. I'm not sure what to do with all this bone. I'm pretty sure we're gonna need a lot of hide for the armor that we're going to make here eventually. But mostly I'm looking for iron. I'm trying to find that elusive iron. I know I get little bits from stone randomly, it seems like. But we're going to need more than that. We're going to need a lot of iron. So I need to find, I'm hoping to find an iron node. Or at least uh, some stone that gives me more iron than usual. Don't run. Don't run. There you go. Hang out for a minute. Yeah. That's right. I'm going to have so much savory flesh. All the food we could hope for and then some get some stone to repair our tools. I did, however, I'm trying to play this game somewhat blind. Uh, like I said, I did watch uh, one of the developer's streams. We got a little bit of information about thralls and such, which I don't know if I'm at that point yet, although that will be a cause when we're ready for thralls to go into some of these villages and take some chances with them. I would like to get my gear in a better place before I start doing that, however... So one of the things I did, uh, that's so to ca um, what I was saying is I did end up looking up what I'm supposed to do about this corruption, as I don't like having a, a notch taken out of my health and stamina. That that really bothers me. Ooh, frame rate drop. It bothers me a lot. So as I looked it up, the what I read was that the advice is don't get corruption in the early game. 
because it's not easy to get rid of till you're higher level. So things I could have learned earlier. There's not much we can do about it now. As I understand it, corruption persists even through death. So in case you get an opportunity to check out a really cool cave or tangle with scorpions in the early game, you should avoid it. You should just decide not to do it and wait until you're a little higher level, although you might not need to explore the area then. Although I did get these crystals. Not really sure if they're going to help me anytime soon. If I don't have a recipe to use them, the whole thing feels like a waste. It was pretty cool, but it, it was, in fact, not beneficial to my cause. As now I have to deal with a little less health and a little less stamina than I would otherwise have. I have made the decision, though, again, reviewing the tapes, to say I'm probably going to focus on putting points in my melee strength and not so much my, my vitality anymore, just to try to get my strength as high as possible so that I can kill stuff very easily. And if we can get some iron, I'm hoping, uh, by choosing my recipes carefully, to be able to make an iron broadsword as soon as I am a high enough level to learn the recipe. That's the plan, anyways. That's the plan. Oh, bunny. Yeah, I have no, no love for you. I'm so sorry. That's the way it goes. Alright, let's start cooking our food. I guess that's it. We'll take this steak out. There's no reason to leave it on there. The wood. We're not going to have a whole lot of wood. That fire is going to go out soon. So let's cut down some trees. We'll get fuel for the fire. And then we're going to head across the river in that other direction where I know there's hyena and ostriches. I believe the ostriches are easier for me to defeat than the rock noses. As cool as it was to see them, and as much as I felt all strong killing one in one hit and sending him flying, I'm pretty sure the turtle had a lot to do with that. Plus, I don't really need brimstone for anything. That's the other caveat to that, is the brimstone, while it's really, really cool, it feels like I'm not really going to use it for anything. And because of that, seems like, again, probably not where I should be. Where I need to be is where the iron is. Uh, crystals. Look at all this stuff in here. Do we really need all these bones? Do we... Uh, I'm not going to forgive myself if I get rid of stuff that I need. Yeah, look at all this stuff. Crystals, they're not that heavy. I can probably hold on to them for now. I need a bigger storage, though, is what I need. Okay. Let's repair some items. We'll use up some of this stone. Get some plant fibers, and then I'm going to cross the cross the river over here. And my goal is to kind of work our way up through this area and see how things are over there. That's the plan. Let's make sure we got plenty of food. Let's make sure our sealed water skin is empty. Why is that? I don't remember drinking that much out of it. Let's fill it up. Okay. Still a few glitches with the game. I have noticed when I log back in, some stuff is missing, or I've, I've had a few things disappear randomly on me. So I'm sure that stuff is just going to get worked out as time goes on. I don't really have a lot of carrying capacity, though. What can I get rid of? Ugh, this rock nose head. Do I really need this? Is this really a thing I'm going to hold on to? I think we'll get rid of the bark. That's what we'll get rid of. I haven't seen a use for that. Pretty sure I can get more of that fairly easily. It's still at 62%. All kinds of stuff weighing us down. That's fine. I think we can make... Let's make, a, let's make another batch of arrows. That'll help a little bit. The arrows don't weigh quite as much as the stone and branches do separately. All right, let's go over here. Let's check this area out. More and more, though, I'm realizing in order to level up at a decent rate, I need to be north of the river. The hyenas and the gazelle 
are where it's at as far as experience goes maybe the ostriches i have not paid attention to my experience when they die i have killed one but they are they're a little treacherous as well they do quite a bit of damage crocodile let's go ahead and take him out yeah exactly Get off of me! Okay, fine. That's not gonna work. Oh, that corruption's already causing me difficulty. Just that little bit less stamina. It adds up. No! Get away from me! Goodness, come on. There you go. Send him flying. We'll hang on to that thick hide. I don't know what that's used for, but I have a feeling it's going to be important. Alright, we'll get our stamina back. This clearing has got me a little nervous. I know that hyenas frequent this area, as well as ostriches. We're going to clear it out. Not going to be afraid. Let's, let's let them know that I'm here to stay. This is my new home. And I'm not going to take it, I'm not going to take kindly to them chasing me off. We're going to, we're going to take them all on. Starting with you, bird. Oh, they hit so fast. Yeah, I know. Come on. Oh, wow. So that was a lot of experience, but oh no. Come on. Whew. All right, all right. So that was a lot of experience for the ostrich, but man. A lot of damage, too. A lot of damage. I would like to avoid running into them for a time. Okay, let's level up. We're going to go... Oh, it costs two to level up strength now. I see. I see. Okay, well, let's go two to strength, and then we'll save this other one. Recipes to be learned. I need to get to Journeyman Craftsman, which requires Carpenter, Tanner, and Blacksmith, so... Tannery it is, because the Iron Broadsword... Ooh, Iron Warhammer? Iron Broadsword can be learned at level 12. I'm level 11, so I'm not going to be able to learn that right away. A bed... A comfortable wooden bed. Oh, wouldn't that be grand? Fireball Cauldron. Mother Spalder is riveted to articulated... River Brace. Okay. Ugh, so much stuff to learn. So much stuff to learn. I kind of want to try out this stone club as well to see if it's better than the stone sword. I'm sure it is. That's going to cost two. Nope, we're going to go with the tanner. Process uh, hide into leather. I'm sure at some point that that will become extremely necessary for when we are upgrading our armor. So again, I'm trying to think ahead and be ahead of the curve. You don't get to look at what the recipes require before you learn them. So we're going to go through here at night. Not how I wanted to do it, but we're going to do it anyways. I'm sure there's another hyena around here. Yes, there he is. Bring it. These hyenas are very easy to handle anymore. I'm going to stop harvesting them for a little bit because all I'm doing is I'm using up using up all my uh, encumbrance with hide and meat and bones and stuff, and I don't need them. If I find iron, I want to be able to carry a lot of it back. More hyenas. Son of a gun. 
Rhinoceros. Yeah. Little, little treacherous up here. But I know I can kill the hyenas, I just need to be smart about how I handle them. One at a time. Just one at a time, please. If you please. There's another one over this way. Let's get some of these plant fibers. Here he comes! Yep! Alright. Is that it for the hyenas? It might be. I think it is. Wish I had something to do with these seeds and these bones. Man. They're just kind of piling up. There's not a lot I can do with them. Oof. Rhinoceros. Dare I handle this one? I don't know. Feels very, very dangerous. He's kind of wandering over to me. Might just let him go on about his business. In fact, yeah, let's 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 make that a plan. Let's just continue on this way. Need some more stone to repair my stuff. So we'll get some of that. Can't really see him through the bushes. No. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Just, just leave me alone. Alright, let's go back and drop our stuff off. Ugh. We might have to... We might have to go ahead and engage the rhinoceros so we can figure out our power level. We just need to make a decision to run away if we get if we get walloped too hard. Let's go ahead and repair our torch for now. We don't really need to have it out anymore. Repair our stone tools. All of this stuff just breaks so incredibly fast. Alright. We'll drop off our goods, some of our meat, Get our encumbrance down a little bit and then we'll go back. I'm hoping the hyenas won't be back by then. Hoping is the key key part of that sentence. Uh, it's bone, seeds, thick hide. I guess we'll get rid of the hide as well. We don't really need it. That's good. That's actually really good. Set our spawn point there. I can't remember if we did that or not. That would be bad. So the rhinoceros kind of followed us all the way to the shoreline. I wonder if we could get up from a high vantage point and shoot him with the arrows. Not sure. But hey, he is just waiting there for us. Nope, he disappeared. He just vanished. I'm guessing he reset, maybe? I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and eat a steak. No, we're not quite full yet. Let's have ourselves an egg. Okay. Thought I heard combat music for a second. Please, maybe tell me the hyenas aren't back yet. Okay, looks like the hyenas are not back yet. It takes a little bit more time than that for them to come back, thankfully. No, they are back. Or at least those hyenas are. So that makes me wonder if it's not if it's not a time issue with the respawns, but more of a distance. Because really, I killed the hyenas in this area first, and so I would expect them to have respawned sooner. And yet, and yet, those are over there. Okay, so we had that hyena to deal with. continue up this way. I don't see I don't see the rhinoceros. Go ahead and get a little bit of wood. We're going to kind of hug this rock wall here. Keep ourselves out of trouble. Some ostriches. Two hyenas. Not good. 
Not good at all. Maybe if I could just get one's attention. Maybe. They separate a little bit. Yeah, come on, there you go. Just just one of you, please. Just one. If you please. Very good. Okay. There's a rhinoceros. Those stones up there look to be a different color. I'm not sure if those are just ruins. Or actual stones might have found... No! Oh, that scared me. Bring it on. The audio makes them sound so much closer than they really are. It really does. It's quite terrifying. Because they sound like they're right up on you, and then it turns out they're actually a large distance away. Alright, we might have found what we're looking for. Let's get over here to these to these rocks. Nope. No, no. Bring it. Come on. We have to get closer than that. Four hits. That's not bad. Doing pretty well with the hyenas. What do we got here? Nothing. Okay, so these rocks really aren't anything. They're just ruins. Let's steer clear of that rhinoceros. Oh, hello! Surely that's not part of the ruins, right? Is this iron? Oh, it's coal. Okay, um... Oh, you know what I can make with coal, actually? Is the torch. Yeah, a better torch. Look at that. We'll drop this crummy torch and we'll take a good torch. That's nice. Let's get some more coal. But not at the cost of fighting a rhinoceros. Let's, let's not do that. Tell me that music doesn't mean he's thinking about coming after me. Come on. Alright, let's just stay up against these rocks here. I'm sure we're going to run into some hyenas or something. Nope. Not being followed. That's good. That's real good. Look at this. More coal. Okay. Again, we found a resource that we don't really need yet. Oh, spiders. Ah. <sighs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Those look like gray rocks to me. Yes, they do. Where are we at? Okay. Alright. Maybe we'll just work our way over there nice and easy. I don't know if I want to tangle with these spiders yet. Maybe we just pull one and see how it goes. Getting all kinds of coal, though. That's really good. Let's make sure our plant fiber armor is nice and repaired. Looks like we got an ostrich as well, which we know we can beat, although they are tough. They're not going to end us. Man, I might learn how to make that that stone club. Uh, we're going to have to face these spiders at some point if we want to go through here. Do we want to go through here? Do we? I think, I think we do. Let's go ahead and pull this spider. Let's see how it goes. Can't be too bad, right? Come on. Oh, he's spitting at me. All right, all right. No, he's running away. Crippling poison. Oh, okay, they're very easy to kill, but that crippling poison seems to stack. Feral flesh, ichor, gossamer, all kinds of new stuff. Okay, well, we learned that spiders are actually very weak. That's an important thing to learn, I believe. So we don't have to fear them. They didn't give us a whole lot of experience either, though. 
Spider silk, soft, strong, and lightweight. A vicious, foul-smelling fluid collected from arthropods. Okay. All right, let's... There's more coal, but I want to address these silvery, gray-looking rocks up here. Let's check it out. Please don't be anything bad up here. Oh, those are definitely silver rocks. Let's stay away from the rhinoceros. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, I think we've done it. Yes! Oh, man. It doesn't give that much. It still gives a lot of stone. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. Shouldn't complain. It's still iron. So we're still getting iron. So now we need to make a black... We need to make our forge that we learned with our blacksmith skill as well when we get back. Okay, so I think it's time we set up a permanent area on our island. Kind of spent a lot of time setting up a little permanent structure over by the city. And as nice as that will be eventually to go back to, I can't help but feel like it was a little bit of a waste. Because I think we're gonna need to set up a I think we're gonna need to set up a permanent residence on our island. Another rhinoceros. Boy, this huge flat area would be pretty cool for a place to set up at, potentially. I don't know, though. One of the things I like about my island is that there's not enemies that spawn there. There's a hyena, another spider. More iron, though. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to stock up on this iron. All right, okay. The spiders bother me because they keep a distance from me and they, they run from me when I rush them to attack. So I don't want to be chasing them and run into a rhinoceros. That's my concern with that. This hyena is going to aggro here pretty soon. So I don't want to... Oh no! Oh no! People! Retreat! Retreat, retreat! Okay. Alright. And he's creeping over this way. So there's some kind of village there. It's just one person, though. Oh, I can take one person. I'm not going to run from one person. Come on. Yeah, I know. You're going to shoot me. Ooh, with a bow. Yeah. Ooh, goodness, that was close. Can I take your bow? Of course I can't. Oh, I'm hurt. Oh, I'm hurt. Okay, let's just hide up against the rocks. All right, so archers from whatever city that is, not a joke, not to be messed with. Learned that lesson the hard way. Let's hope we don't run into a hyena in, the, uh, in our immediate future. We'll be in some serious trouble. Just hang tight here, away from everything. Oh, that archer tore us up. That was some real damage. I think we're also going to have to bite the bullet and craft an armorer's bench, which is fine. It's time to make a real structure with an armorer's bench and blacksmithing forge. We'll make our tannery. We'll start to build the things that we've learned over these levels. We know where we can get iron now. We know where we can get cold. Aside from making a better torch and obviously repairing it, I'm surmising, although it's just a guess, that the coal will be needed to melt to actually melt the iron. So I want to make sure I get some of that as well. I don't know if I'll be able to use wood to melt the iron. It would be easy for me to assume based on other games that I could. But again, that would just be a horrible assumption to make. Best to be prepared to have the extra coal in case I need it. I saw a spider over here. We're fully healed. Let's, let's take him out. 
on, he's taken off. Okay, no spider. Ooh! Yes, spider. Where is it? I don't see it. Okay, the spider is glitched, and I have no visibility on the spider. So we are going to run. We're just going to run, even though we've got this crippling poison on us. The spider is somehow invisible. Not what you want to have an invisible creature fighting you. Let's let our stamina recover. Hopefully it's not going to follow us for too long. We'll just hug these rocks as we go around. This is where all the coal was. The ruins. Okay, so we're starting to get back. I think we need to get back, make a structure, make a few different chests to offload a lot of this coal and iron and crystals and extra materials. And then, once we make a structure, we can have a dedicated heavy, heavy iron run where we get nothing but a ton of iron and coal. And as much as I want to learn the tan- uh, what, we learned the tannery, so as much as I want to learn carpentry next, so that we can learn journeyman craftsman after that, I'm probably going to go ahead and learn the stone cudgel. I'm, I've got this sinking suspicion that it's going to end up being better. I don't know why I didn't make it before. I got kind of tunnel visioned on some of the some of the recipes further down, but the benefit is the more you learn the recipes and move further down the crafting table, they cost more points, so your levels actually give you more points. And because the levels give you more points, you're able to learn the lower stuff that you skipped in tandem with other items. Meaning, basically, that I could learn... You know, I could learn the cudgel and maybe some, uh, the candle making for one level and learn two things for one level. Why I would learn candle making, I don't know. It's just the first thing that popped into my mind that only costs one skill point to learn. These ostriches aren't so bad when you can dodge their attacks. Which is more difficult than it seems. Oh, uh, here we go, here we go. Two, three, four. Okay, alright. Nobody else, please. Let's heal up a bit. Alright, getting some kills, getting some experience. We didn't really hit the mark that I wanted to hit, which was to gain an entire level. But I think that's because, you know, we did some traveling and... And that, that is what it is. We're going to be spending some time building building structures out of stone. So I don't anticipate... I hear combat music. Oh, it's you. I don't anticipate gaining a ton of levels next episode, as we're going to be focused on getting the materials to build a permanent structure on our island. But it needs to be done. Oh, here he comes. Let's do it. Come on. I'm getting less and less afraid of the hyenas as I put these points into strength. I'm not sure if I make armor, if that'll get even better. Let's go ahead and get this ostrich. Yeah. Come on. No! No! Oh, it pecked my eyes out. Pecked my eyes out. Ah! Luckily, my body is actually very close to my bed. So that's a good thing. Alright. Killed by an ostrich. Wonderful. So we'll just go right across the river. We'll gather up the stuff from our body, then we'll swim back, we'll make another bed, and that'll be where we end the episode goodness. I thought I could take him. The problem is that beak attack really interrupts your ability to swing the sword, and the sword's main benefit is that you can swing it very quickly, which again is another reason I want to experiment by making the stone club, as I imagine it does more damage and most likely swings slower, if I had to guess, based on the descriptions. 
Okay. Let's go get our body very quickly in the shallows. Wait, wait a second. Why can I not loot my body? What is this? Is it because of the water? Surely not. It is, is it not? Can I not drag the body? What kind of garbage is this? This is me. Oh, man. Oh, that's, that's horrible. That's a horrible glitch. Maybe if I can stay crouched in the water. No, there is no way. Well, if that doesn't just beat all. All that iron and coal we got. For nothing. Oh, that's depressing. I'm going to go ahead and leave my body there. And maybe log out in between episodes. Log back in. See if it helps it. Perhaps it's not an issue with the water. And it's just a glitch based on its... I don't know. I don't know, but I can hope and I can dream, and that's what my hope and my dream is, is that I'm going to be able to log out and log back in and go get my body. So that's where we're going to wrap things up. Oh, what a sad note. I should have just came back without fighting the ostrich. This has been Conan Exiles Episode 8. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a fun time watching. As always, I had a fun time playing. So come back next time when we find out if we're going to be able to get my body or not and build a more permanent home here on this island to make an armor's bench and a forge and yeah probably go and recollect more coal and iron because i don't think i'm going to be able to loot my body Ugh. but that'll be next episode we'll figure all that out until then though take care